Good morning, traders. Uh, in this video, I want to take the time to go over a very popular indicator, uh, but also it is a paid for tool. And so subject of this video has to do with can we find a tool that replicates pretty much the data that this tool provides for you at a cost? Or can we utilize the tool somewhere else for free? the answer to both of those questions is yes. So let's talk about what the tool is and where we can utilize it or how we can utilize it. And then I'm going to uh, quickly uh, touch base with you on how you can use it in your trades. All right, specifically for longs. Now, that being said, you all know that I am not a huge fan of additional indicators. I have managed to do what I do on TradingView using the free platform. And there are mainly uh, seven things that I utilize and I'm able to uh, predict the price action of the market fairly accurately. Uh, and I find that tools actually detract from my accuracy. I can use them to confirm uh, uh, my bias or I can use them to confirm my conclusion. Um, but if I depend solely on any one tool, I usually actually almost always end up doing worse than the way that I teach you guys on Substack to trade. All right, so the tools that I use are the RSI, the 50 day, the 100 day, I draw my levels, I find patterns, and I also use time and price to influence my sentiment, all right? And I teach all of you guys uh, how to do this throughout my videos, here and there, tidbits, uh, as I do an analysis. By the way, those of you who are on Substack, if you are paid subscribers, I hope that you have uh, been following my trades. You know, the um, altcoin market has um, had a bit of a correction here. Many altcoins are down 50%. Some are down as much as 80%. If you were a hodler, that's a tough price to pay. Now, I understand the philosophy of hodling is to hold through those dips and those cycles, and that's fine. But we at, uh, you know, those of you who follow me at Substack know that I'm a swing trader and we make five to six week trades on average, sometimes up to two months. And that's a tough price to pay. My average portfolio is down maybe 10%. And that's because I'm utilizing the levels. I'm still playing long in a bear market. And by doing that, I am uh, decreasing the, uh, the, 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 the loss margin on my portfolio so that it's not 50 to 80% and it's more like 10%. And you all know that I feel that we're still in a bull market. And that's why I'm still playing these longs, because I don't know when we're going to break out. I'm guessing somewhere mid-January. Uh, so here in another week or two, we should break out and continue this bull cycle into March, possibly even into May. That being said, let's take a look at this uh, tool that I've found. I, the tool is called market cipher b many of you have probably heard out of it uh, put out by um, crypto face i believe he puts this tool out the problem for many of you might be the price it's somewhat inhibited uh, for those with little resources uh six hundred dollars per year or fifteen hundred dollars for a lifetime now for me particularly um I just don't like additional tools. <laughs> I don't like a lot of additional indicators, no matter how great they are, and even if they are for free, uh, because they tend to detract from what I do. However, many of you still have not learned my techniques, and it takes a while. It took me 10 years to learn to do what I do and trade the way I trade. And you're just looking for a way to get uh, some decent gains using a simple strategy. So that's what I want to show you today. And the questions I ask regarding this tool is, is there someone else who has maybe replicated the data points in this tool uh, 
and offered the tool on TradingView uh, for free? And the answer to that question is yes. Uh, second question I ask is, could I find this tool somewhere else for free to utilize there? The answer to that question is yes. While I was asking those questions, it took me five minutes in Google searching and I found the code for free as well. Now I hesitate, I probably shouldn't have even mentioned that because number one, I am not gonna tell you where I found that code. I will not tell you, I'm not gonna give that code to you. And furthermore, I'm gonna encourage you not to steal somebody else's hard work, all right? That's not the way to operate ethically. Um, so that being said, let's take a look at the first two options that we do have that are ethical. Can you use this tool in another place for free? So let's take a look at a site that I found it's called Get Orox. And I will put this in the web, uh, the description, the video description. Um, but you can see here that this site looks much like TradingView. And in fact, down here, I've already got Cyber B pulled up. All right, so we go to our indicators, just like on TradingView, and go to the Cypher section, and you will see Cypher B divergences. Boom. You can utilize this specific tool, $1,500 tool, for free on this website. All right. Second question is, can we find, if we want to continue using TradingView, a tool like it that doesn't cost us $1,500? So again, the answer is yes. Go to our indicators tool. I've already got it favorited, but if you typed in here, Vu Manchu, I spelled it wrong. All right, and you can see the top one at Cypher B. And you can go ahead and add that. All right. Looks much like Cypher B. Does very much the same thing. Maybe some minor differences. But you can definitely use this tool as a trade strategy to gain valuable profits. And here you can see up here, I have copied the results of one YouTuber who teaches you how to use this tool and I can post that in the video description as well. I'm not afraid to point you to other YouTubers. I, I mainly am just offering what I do for free and you guys might like it, you might not like it. And as far as what you pay for is if you just want to watch the trades that I make and then you would go over to Substack and you can follow along with me. But I am not afraid to offer up information that will benefit you even if it is from another person. And uh, so here they executed 100 trades and their time frame was 30 minutes with a risk reward ratio of one to two. All right. And in this case, they had 54 winners, 46 losers. Now, it took them seven months to find the trigger points. But in the end, the gain on their account was 62 percent. Not bad. All right. So let's talk about how to use, utilize this tool in a long, uh, you can use it as a short uh, indicator as well. You would just do everything here the opposite, right? But first, before we begin and, and find a trigger point, let's clean up this chart a little bit. I'm going to go to settings here. What I want to do, yeah, we don't really need VWAP and we don't need divergence we really don't need our stochastics either all right and that just cleans up the chart a little bit now let's talk about what we see here on the chart the green above the zero point is money flow in in this case this is bitcoin the red below the zero point is money flow out all right and so then you have these little blue waves anytime the waves the, the, the trends crossed and go upward you got a little green dot here indicating we are going up anytime they go down you have a red dot all right and uh so 
we're looking at these indicators as well as you want to add a 200 day to your chart and a 50 day to your chart because we're going to use those as well. The rules of this, again, this is for longs and you would do exactly the opposite if you went shorts. You're going to only go long if you're over the 200 day moving average. You want to enter the trade when you're touching or near the 200 or the 50, the 50 day moving average. All right, the 50 day is the blue. Uh, you want the money flow to be green. Uh, okay, and then you want the blue wave to actually be below the zero point. All right, not above, below. And this is for a long. Our trigger is going to be the blue wave uh, cross plus all of the above, all right? So what we're looking for is, uh, for instance, right here, uh, the shadow disappears, the wave crosses, and now we have solid blue. Or if you were going short, you're looking for the shadow to disappear, the light blue shadow to disappear, and now we have a solid blue, all right? So you're looking for that plus all of the above. So in this case, we're going long, Let's look for a potential spot where we're above the 200 day, where we're touching the 50 day. I see one right here. All right, we're touching the 50 day. All right, now is the money flow green? The answer to that is yes. And is the blue wave below the zero point? The answer to that is yes. Ding, ding, ding. We have our trigger. All right, so now let's go long on this. And we would enter, because this is our trigger point, somewhere here. Now, this guy, in this particular case, is playing a 1 to 2 risk-reward ratio. So we've already got our 1 down. This is where we would stop out. And for me, I see already a potential way to improve uh, profit margins on this, because I would not necessarily stop out way down there. I would look for a level, I probably would stop out way up here and decrease my losses. Uh, but anyways, that being said, that's if you're also combining my strategies and what I teach. That's where I would stop up. But your target up is two to the one. All right, so we keep going up, up, up until we hit two. All right, and there, do you guys see what I'm looking at? Whoops, that was right here. All right, let me highlight that um, again. And so you can see our risk-reward ratio is two to one, all right? And so that's what we're looking at. And in this case, that trigger would have netted you profit, all right? Again, everything is just the opposite on the downside and looks like you have fairly decent gains, I mean, Again, I, I I'm, gain on my account is 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 much higher than this, but it takes a lot of time, and that's why you guys are watching, I guess, to learn the techniques that I learn, to minimize your losses during a drawback, to maximize your gains during an uptrend, and then we play those levels as I've taught many of you, uh, sell some of your profits take those profits as you hit those levels re-enter when we come back down etc etc um anyways hope you guys found this uh video somewhat beneficial i mean at the very least if you want to use a tool like this you save yourself 1500 bucks right and then you can kind of use this strategy in your um mix it in with your trade strategy and honestly, if you combine something like this with what I teach, you can really maximize your profits. Because look, this is right where I would have stopped out if we came down. And who knows, maybe that takes away a lot of these triggers uh, or a lot of these trades. I don't know what the end result is. I would have to test that. It seems to me that that would be a way to improve it. All right. So uh, again, hopefully that helps you all. I'll catch you in the next video. And again, I promise to put out more technical analysis here soon, as soon as we get out of this boring dry spell. I think a lot of institutional investors are still on vacation. And so uh, I, I assume it will pick up 
probably next week. All right. And we'll start to get some more action. Talk to you later, guys.